Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see today, we are back at the junkyard because if you got a project car, you need to know how to source the parts. Perfect. So we're back looking. The last time we tried to find that SC400, it didn't work out great. Well, this is what is left of our SC400 that was out here. Unfortunately, we're a little late, but somebody else came out here, got the headlights, front bumper, uh, disrespected the fenders here. I mean, what is this? Can't even take them off all the way. But uh, this is usually how the condition that they're in. So unfortunately, we were a little late for this one. And now I got word that this junkyard got an SC300. So we're gonna check it out. See if we can find it, see if anybody's molested it yet. Hopefully not, hopefully there's some usable parts on there. Right now we're looking at the SLK. This is also a newer car out here. Uh, it's already uh, highly modified. You see we have some wide body fenders. I didn't even know they did this on these type of cars, but we're gonna check out this car. We're gonna find the SC300 and then whatever else we can find out here. I heard there's a 350Z out here, maybe even a 300ZX. So let's go see what we can find. First car we're looking at today is the Mercedes-Benz SLK. This came with either the 2.3 liter supercharged inline four or the 3.2 liter V6. It's a two-door roadster, reminds me a lot of the Mazda Miata. This is a convertible hard top for Mercedes. They did offer it with a manual transmission. Most of the time you're gonna find it's an automatic transmission. An automatic transmission shifters in this car sell for a lot of money, along with a lot of the other interior. Just this being a fun little sports coupe that's uh, pretty affordable and people like to fix them up. We actually have one of these as a project car. My brother Wes has it as you can see in this video. He's got one so we're always shopping for parts to finish his build on his car and then of course I sell a lot of SLK parts as well. All right, so here's our 2001 SLK uh, <laughs> custom grill, dude. This car is custom for sure. Some custom fenders, but let's check it out. It says, do not enter. I don't even know what that, I'm scared. The hood ain't even gonna pop. Let's check out the interior, see if there's anything. This car reminds me a lot of a Miata and somebody's chewed on the interior. This is a good part though. This, these door handles are good. We'll take that. Got some of the interior laying up. We picked up one of these yesterday in much better condition. That one's about trash. I'd say the door handles overall, door panels are good, but that's not what we're looking for today. We're kind of looking, I'm always looking for this shifter. So somebody destroyed this shifter for no good reason because it's not that hard to get out. The shifter goes for about 275 bucks. It's similar to that CLK Mercedes shifter that we pulled the other day at another junkyard. But unfortunately, I mean, wow, someone fucked this up. And a lot of these SLK interiors just don't hold up. So most of this is either modified terribly or just straight up broken. That's why I say they don't hold up. They're pretty sought after. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of usable parts. Look, we got some custom, well, I don't even know what that is, custom print headliner. This is a telltale sign that uh, hydraulic fluid was leaking from the hydraulic top. This would not be any hydraulic system that we targeted on this car. But that's this one. It's got a, I didn't even know they made body kits for this car. All right, this next car we're looking at, everyone should be familiar with because we have the project car on this channel. This is the Lexus SC300 on this one. We have the project car SC400. The difference between the 300 and the 400 is the SC300 has a three liter 2JZ non-turbo engine in it, front engine rear wheel drive. The 300 you can catch with the manual transmission, but most of them are automatic. And then the SC400 has the four liter 1UZ V8 engine from Toyota and uh, most all those all those came with an automatic transmission option but 
as you know, if you watch this channel, we're going to switch ours over to manual transmission. So that's what we're trying to source to see if we can find any parts here. Then I sell a lot of Lexus parts as well. There's a lot of good parts on any of these tuner cars. So we're going to see what we can find in this one. All right, guys, we came across our 90s SC300. Of course, 2J is always gone. Anytime we go to the junkyard, they're probably 2J usually gone. Um, not looking great. Whoo, this. So this car probably came out here like this. Somebody probably used this as a parts car and just sold what was left to the junkyard. It's unfortunate just can't come across that really good car yeah there's not much usable on here so we got one window power switch and there's literally another one right there like this is just a, a pile of parts we've got a mirror right there broken Maybe probably nothing good. Some brake pads, brand new brake pads. Fancy dude, look at that. It must be for a manual transmission trim. Well we better hold on to that. That could be a cool find. Oh here's the harness. We got a whole Hold that. All right, so this, look, this is the, I'm pretty sure the manual transmission trim, uh, shifter trim right there. Hmm. How much is a, how much is a 2UZ wiring harness go for? That? 2J. Yeah. Wiring, you said 2UZ. Did I say that? Right? Well, unless I'm fucking high. Could be. Could be. how much it sells for you should check that out let's do that all right so we got our harness here i think we're gonna take this i mean it's already pulled it's a 2jz harness 2jz right i said the right thing this time i um, said the right thing last time I'm just out of my mind. The, the video will be able to tell us if i said 2uz or 2jz i'm a uz guy dude you all know that so we got yes 300 wiring harness sold for 300 we got sc 300 wiring that's harness. what i'm looking for SC 300, 350. That's what they accepted offer was. All right, so it could be worth, definitely worth it. Let's just go clean up. Could be a good flip. Oh, dude. Bro, dude. The clutch, this is an OEM uh, clutch pedal cover. Huh. But definitely taking that. What'd you find down there? Found something cool. All right, we'll be the judge of that. All right, upon further inspection, I found a clutch a, pedal, bro. You got a clutch pedal and an automatic. New clutch pedal for this SC, so we can put this in our car. Oh, all right, it's all right. Look comfortable, though. I'll just leave you here. Yeah. This car way better than it looked. Once we got digging a little bit more, I found that clutch pedal uh, cover. Then looked in, there was the clutch pedal. We got the two UZ. Oh, maybe I did say we got the two JZ wiring harness already pulled, and a few other little parts here and there. A lot better than we had originally thought. We got ourselves a Jaguar XJ. This one is supercharged. A lot of good parts in this car. A lot of sought after stuff. People like to keep these running. I mean, it's supercharged from the factory. A lot of the interior is sought after if anything breaks, especially the center consoles are uh, a good thing to go to. Um, all the switches on the driver's side, power window switch, all that stuff. Definitely a luxury cruiser car. All right, guys, well, we found some parts for our project cars. Now, I also have to find some parts that make me money. Yeah, so this is supercharged, I believe. This, look at this interior. 
uh, this center console, we're definitely taking the center console. These are worth a ton of money, one in this good a condition. Uh, we'll look at this shifter and I mean, let's go look at the supercharger. Wes got the... That's the one I like. So this is oh, a guy. supercharged Jag. I don't know, is this the M90 maybe? Probably. Supercharger? All right, boys, you know what this is. We got ourselves a Nissan 350Z. This is what came after the Nissan 300ZX, released in 2003, ran until 2008, 2009. After the VG engine, they went with the VQ. Uh, lots of good parts on this, lot, a good tuner car. Um, a lot of times they come through pretty wrecked though because everyone's got their fingers in it taking parts they need for their car. So always looking for their manual transmission off of this car. We need to put it in our SC. Let's see what we find on this one. It's pretty ran through, but I'm sure we can find something. Oh, look at this sad condition 350Z. What year is this thing? 03? 2002. So 2003, that's the first year. So there's a 2003 350Z. Uh, not much left on it. Surprise, surprise. What has it got? Automatic. BQ rusted out. Probably blown up. A lot of missing interior. Mountain Dew. Nectar of the tar. About to get me some Mountain Dew. DVD player, dude. I saw that. Probably hot shit back in the day. We've got some stuff here. I'm not really gonna mess with this 350Z too much. Um, I mean, not, to mess with. not a lot to mess with on this, but you know, surprise, surprise, here it is. Oh, do you know what? Door panels. These are actually good. I picked up a set. These door handles are actually pretty good. They're pretty easy to get out. We probably actually will mess with this car. Oh, I found some parts laying around. Probably take those. See if there's another one. Hey, how you doing? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and take this uh, door handle. Last time I had three hundred fifty Z door handle that sold them like super quick. So this is the left side too, which is preferred because that's the driver's side here. A couple bolts and uh, this thing's out of the way. I think I sold them for like forty bucks last time. So. Find a free forty dollars laying on the ground. I'll take it. Yo, this thing has been in a wreck and already fixed before. It's got a radiator core support with the Nissan part number sticker on it. It's already been wrecked once. Now you can tell it's a different color. The car. I don't even want to pull the transmission. Just yeah, I don't even know how you would do that. Z31 300ZX, we found a 300ZX. Most of the time, if I find a 300ZX, unfortunately it is a Z31. There's still good parts to be had on this car. A lot of parts I sell every time I see this car, I pull the clutch pedal out of it because most of the time they're manual transmissions. They were offered with automatics, but unlike, I mostly just see auto or manual. So we pull the clutch pedal out of there. Uh, we'll take a look. It's kind of a blast from the past, total 80s car. Um, they definitely don't make cars look like this anymore. So it's kind of fun when we come up on them. I'm sure there's a lot of good parts on here. Uh, we're Z32 experts, not necessarily Z31, but I'm sure we can find something on this car to make a little bit of money. And it's cool to check them out when we see All right, guys, so I told you we'd find a 300ZX in this yard, and we did, except it is a Z31 300ZX. Um, not a lot left of it, but it is cool to see these cars because... We don't see them that often. Yes, it's on the overhead cam. See if it was a manual transmission or not. Probably was a manual. Like it was. Everything back in the day used to be manual. Seat. The interior in this car looks pretty cool. Very unique interior. Look at those, all the seat controls there. It's our Z31 or what's left of it. There's actually a lot of interior, so. I mean, depending on when you see this video, if you need any interior, hit me up. I'll come pull whatever off of here. For anybody that's building a... Dude, purple, dog. Purple and gray, dude. Everybody that's building a Z31. Pedal. Got a clutch pedal? 
Man, I actually sold a clutch pedal out of this car. Yeah, we pulled it. Three years ago, four years ago. Yeah, I sold one for, I mean, it wasn't free, that's for sure. It wasn't 300, but it was at least like 150. That's it for today. Let's go.